Hey, it's Chelsea with the Kansas City Gardener. Planting bulbs in the fall is one of the ultimate tests in patience, at least for me. I'm rarely thrilled about taking the time to plant fall bulbs, but I'm always thankful I did when they bloom in the spring. Today, I'll be planting both daffodil and tulip bulbs in this new area by the Bloodgood Japanese Maple that we planted in a past video. Speaking of which, the leaves are turning a beautiful red color for autumn. Anyway, this area gets part to full sun in the spring, so it'll be perfect for these bulbs. First, I'll plant some traditional Dutch master daffodils. This simple yellow flower is one of the most recognizable of all spring blooms. Daffodils are known for their ability to naturalize or multiply in the area where you plant them over the course of many years. Once you plant daffodils, you'll see blooms each spring for years without replanting. Another bonus is that typically rabbits and deer don't eat daffodil foliage or flowers. While daffodils will return every spring for many years after one planting, tulips, which are the other bulb I'm planting today, are a little more hit or miss. There are certain varieties that have the better ability to naturalize than others. So if you get beautiful blooms one spring and none the next, it could just be the variety. Today, I'm planting two different varieties of tulips. One is called Apricot Impression and the other is La Belle Epoque. La Belle Epoque is hands down my favorite spring flower. It's a stunning smoky pink peach color with a full double petals that make it look similar to a peony or a garden rose. I planted a bunch of these last year in a different part of my yard and I have more to plant today. To start, I like to rake all the mulch back and set it aside so it doesn't get mixed in with the soil. Next, I begin the digging. Tulips and daffodils should be planted about six inches deep, so it takes some work. And we actually did that part yesterday to save time. Because I plan to pack this area full, I chose to dig a large trench rather than individual holes, and I tried to stay a few feet away from the tree trunk so I don't disturb the new roots. Once I have the trench dug, I'll add in some organic bulb fertilizer or bone meal. This will feed the bulbs as they grow throughout the winter and spring. Then I'll place the bulbs with the pointy end facing up about four to six inches apart and gently cover them with soil before adding the mulch back on top. When April rolls around and the winter has been long and cold, you can find me walking by spots in my yard like this one and inspecting the ground for any sign of green leaves. I may not be the most patient gardener, but tulips and daffodils are always worth the wait. For more videos, subscribe to the Kansas City Gardener YouTube channel and like our Facebook page. See you next time.